This street fight move saved my student's life. So I had a student that came to me after she was attacked and when she trained diligently, three hours a night essentially, we trained her on a bunch of self-defense setting moves first and then jujitsu second, but she came very good. When he got let out, he came after her and this is the result. She actually had a taser ready for him. He broke into her house, she had a taser, when she went to taser him, it was ineffective. He knocked it out of her hands. When she went to run away, he grabbed her in a very basic bear hug setting. So she essentially, our basic bear hug move where we bring our shoulders up. Now one thing that I will give you a tip on, let's not leave our hands off of this hand right here. When you shrug your shoulders, get this hand on this one. I need to monitor this hand. It will turn into a headlock if you don't. So when we shrug our shoulders, we monitor the wrist as I step behind. Now it's okay to let that hand go because we go to the knees. When you are pulling your training partner off the ground, you swing them behind you. That way he falls away from you. This is what she did and then she kicked him in the head. She went and got her taser, tasered him in the neck and then that's the time the police had staked them out and came to the door. This saved her life. Remember, the world's a dangerous place, and jujitsu is really an equalizer, especially if you are a smaller person versus a someone that really doesn't know jujitsu at all. It's a huge advantage. So keep your training up and make sure that you at least have some effective self defense techniques that work and evolve with time. For more self defense tips, follow me.